Hello, I'm Bob Allison, WB1GC. I'm here at the ARRL Laboratory. Bet you're all wondering about the IC7300. Well, it's here, and let's take a look at it. It's not very big. The uh, knob has a good feel to it. Ventilation on top. A flip stand. Uh, speakers down here. Let's flip it around. See the back side. Here it is. We have a power connection here. Ground. Single antenna connection, a big fan, although it seems to rarely turn on. Uh, this is your uh, plug for your external antenna tuner. Then over here we have the ALC and send lines for an external amplifier. Your Morse code key goes in here. And then of course we have the speakers, a remote plug, USB control here, and an accessory jack. Let's turn it on. Power button is here. On it goes, ICOM IC7300, and you'll see that screen. It's fairly large. I can see it clearly, actually a little ways away from the radio. It's laid out like other ICOMs. It has a similar buttons, but if you're new, I'll show you a few of them. Of course, your power button. Here's your filter settings. Watch what happens to the screen as I adjust the filters. That's like other ICOMs. Yep. Well, turn on the uh, noise blanker here noise reduction, notch filters, preamps over here. And over here is this multi button. I'll press that. And we have some of the easy settings here. Your RF power adjustment here. But if I want to change things, all I have to do is touch the screen. Now I can adjust the mic gain. I can adjust the speech processor or turn it off and go back. Everything is touchable on the screen. The, the band changing. Touch that. Let's go to 75 meters. Click. There you go. Let's make it tune fast. And I can tune by kilohertz or tune it much slower over here. Change the band. Touch that. Go to CW. And we've changed over to CW just like that. The scope is, is pretty fascinating too. What you can see, uh, actually the whole entire hand band at once. Or you can adjust the span up to 400 kilohertz either side of what you're listening to or narrow it down quite a bit. The function control allows you to adjust the AGC to various uh, speeds. Your break in button, the IP plus button on and off. Remember my sidebar, I told you that turns on the dithering and helps improve the IMD dynamic range. W1 INF. November 2, November, November. Whiskey 1 Indian November Foxtrot. Whiskey 1 Indian November Foxtrot, go ahead. Hello, W1AW. This is W1 INF. Name is Bob here at the ARR Laboratory. Over. QSL, Bob. You're sounding good uh, here at W1AW. Very good. Sounds like you're right across the parking lot. Thanks for the contact. 73. Now, W1AW is right across the parking lot, and that operator is running the legal limit. And yet, the IC7300 did not overload. I'm Bob Allison, WB1GCM, here at the ARL Laboratory.